Hello, I'm Knorr, and one of my favorite teams in Blood Bowl is coming to Blood Bowl 3 for Season 3. It is the Shambling Undead. That's not the only thing that's coming with Season 3, though, so let's have a look at the patch notes and run some B-roll from uh, the preview build. I have to see all of the new stuff that's available in Season 3. As with each season in Blood Bowl 3, a new season means a new team, and a new team means a new blood pass. This one is similar to the previous ones, as in that you can, if you buy the blood pass, get access to the Shambling Undead straight away. If you instead uh, elect to unlock the whole blood pass, you will get the free items, and then at the end, you will get the Shambling Undead for free. Based on how long that has taken me for the previous two season passes, expect about 50 games to unlock them for free. We're going to have another look at the Shambling Undead at the end of this video, but before we get to that, let's dive into these patch notes, shall we? I will be... well, I'll be reading here, but you'll be seeing it... Uh, yes, over there. Okay, <laughs> let's get to this, shall we? So, outside of Shambling Undead, one of the biggest things uh, coming uh, this season is match player and team sta uh, statistics pages. That means that you'll get, honestly, loads of stats after each match, but there are also loads of stats for each individual player and for each team. Uh, these uh, different stats can, of course, be sorted based on what you're interested in. Uh, basically, lots of stats for everyone. Uh, which pr pr it's probably just going to mean that I'll, I'll be more annoyed when I roll poorly because now I have stats to pr uh, prove it. So, great work. No, I'm. it's one of the things I have been uh, looking forward to seeing and it's definitely been missing in Blood Bowl 3 up to this point. And now we're getting loads of stats. We are also <laughs> getting multiple block. It is now available. And you know what? With the mummies in the Shambling Undead, I guess it makes sense that it's finally here. Uh, there's also four new star players. Uh, Grim Ironjaw, Horkon Heart Ripper, uh, <laughs> Bruce Campbell, and Ivan Death Shroud. Uh, Bruce and Ivan are, of course, available for the Shambling Undead. Uh, Bruce has a uh, chainsaw and is also available as a uh, coach that you can unlock on the blood pass if you want to. And those are, according to Cyanide, the big hits. Let's get into the weeds a bit and go over the official ladder changes. Now, uh, previously in the middle of Season 2, uh, they removed the um, discount for random skills when it comes to team value. Seems like that is sticking and they are adding a TV cap to the official ladder sitting at 1800 uh, TV or as it officially correctly 1,800,000 gold. I don't think I got a team up to that uh, last season so it'll be interesting to see how this affects the uh, top of the ladder if at all. I'm sure it will. Um, because last season, it was 2 million, or 2,000 TV. Um, Cyanide has also added a type of concede penalty, uh, meaning that if you concede uh, too often, too quickly, you will be temporarily barred from um, looking for a game in the official ladder. Once again, as far as I know, this is only the official ladder, and Cyanide has not gone on the record to say exactly what you need to do to trigger this penalty, and how often it happens or when it happens and my understanding is that they don't really want to tell us that at this point mainly so that people can't like abuse it and be like uh, be like oh i'm just gonna concede this because i'm gonna go have dinner anyways and then i'll come back um but we'll see how that plays out other than that in management we have additions and improvements added match player and team statistic pages Added an informative pop-up when trying to modify a team while searching for an opponent. That makes sense. You can't do that while you're actually spinning. But previously, that wasn't really clear. For replay and spectating, the uh, <laughs> the filters now actually work. Uh, previously, they were available, but they didn't actually do anything. And 
the uh, turn buttons are apparently clickable. And it's nice to see that weather and kickoff event dice are displayed in the match modifier pop-up in spectator mode, so it's clear what's actually going on. If we then go down to in-game or match improvements, we can see that Juggernaut, Stand Firm, Dirty Player, Dauntless, Shadowing and Disturbing Presence icons have been reworked, meaning they look different now than they did before, which uh, feels good, especially for, I think, think Juggernaut and Stand Firm, which were very similar uh, prior to this update. Uh, Dirty Player has also been easier to kind of see what's going on. Dauntless, much clearer, shadowing and disturbing presence look cooler, so that's very nice. And finally, for me, because I fucked it up all the time previously, players with kick skill will now be chosen by default for kickoff when possible. Previously, this was essentially a, a bug or it wasn't necessarily working as intended, where uh, your kick piece, if it was placed correctly, wasn't automatically picked to be the one uh, to kick meaning you could still select that player and if you did that worked but half of the time you forgot because you were busy thinking about other things there is also a bunch of bug fixes but we are going to ignore that instead let's have a look at the undead team shall we i'm going to assume that most uh players know what the shambling undead are but in case you don't here is what they look like in game the Shambling Undead comes with two mummies that have Mighty Blow and Strength uh, access for primary, general, and agility on secondary. They only have three movement, so uh, they're not that fast, and possibly you can run away from them. They also come with two uh, white blitzers and possibly four ghoul runners, uh, up to 12 zombie linemen and or skeleton linemen now the big difference between the skeleton and the zombie linemen is that the skeletons have movement five whereas the zombies have movement four but they have higher armor value in nine plus the skeletons only have eight plus but they do have thick skull to kind of mitigate that uh, you are going to see teams with both lots of zombies or lots of skeletons uh, skeletons generally used for fouling zombies used for standing on the line of scrimmage the other thing to note here is that the ghoul runners are the fastest players on the team and they have agility 3 plus however they do not have regeneration which all other players have and the undead cannot buy an apothecary so expect your ghoul runners a to be your ball carriers but also b uh, to die a lot and one final thing to note on the blood pass there are no cosmetics for the mummies however if you're sneaky like me and go look at the pre-made default teams that are available in game you can see that several of those actually do have cosmetics available for both mummies ghoul runner skeleton zombies and the uh, whites and that's what we're looking at currently I started up a uh, game with two of the higher TV shambling undead teams that is currently available in Blood Bowl 3 and some of them have some really cool stuff on them. This incidentally is also the shambling undead pitch if you were curious about what that actually looked like in game. And that's, uh, that's all of it. That's uh, the update and the patch notes. That is a quick look at the Shambling Undead. They should be live in Blood Bowl 3 right now if you want to go check them out. Uh, let me know what you think. Is uh, this the correct team for Season 3? Honestly, so far it's probably the one I've looked forward to the most that I feel like um, Blood Bowl 3 has been missing. Now... While I do feel like the Shambling Undead is my favorite undead team, there's no denying that the pieces for the Necromantic are slightly cooler, and I do want to play with werewolves. Uh, but up till I can, the Shambling Undeads will have to do. Thank you guys so much uh, for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, leave a like and a comment. And also, you know, subscribe, um, because there'll be... Believe it or not, a decent amount of shambling undead content in the next few weeks. Goodbye.